In this coding lesson, we'll go deeper into runes and strings. Characters or rune literals are expressed in Go by enclosing them in single quotes. Let's create two variables of type rune. var1, var2, colon equals a between single quotes and b between single quotes. A and B are rune literals or characters and are represented as int32 Unicode code points. Let's print out their type and value. fmt.printf type colon percent %t and value colon percent %d backslash n and I want the type of var1 and the value of var2. I am saving the file and running the program. And the type of var1 is int32, rune is in fact an alias for int32, and the value is 98, which is the code point for b. Now, I'll declare and initialize a string value that contains also non-ASCII characters. str colon equals and between double quotes, this is a string, tsar. Tsar means country in Romanian. Ts, A, R and A are runes and each rune occupies between 1 and 4 bytes. Remember that UTF-8, which is the encoding scheme in Go, is a variable length encoding scheme. It uses between 1 and 4 bytes for each rune. The LAN built-in function returns the number of bytes, not runes or characters. Let's see the number of bytes in str. So fmt.println, LAN of str. And I'm running the program. We have only four characters or runes in the string, but the length is six. It occupies six bytes. When using indexes, we get the byte at position, not the rune. For example, str of one returns byte at position one and not character or rune at position one. fmt.println byte not run at position 1 and str of 1 index or position 1 and I've got value 155 if we want to see what's inside the string byte by byte we loop over the string this way for i colon equals 0 semicolon i less than len of str semicolon i plus plus and the for block of code fmt.printf person c person c brings out a rune or a character and the second argument is str of i this will print out the bytes instead of multi-bytes runes. And it printed out this strange string instead of xar. If we want to decode a string rune by rune manually, we can do for i colon equals zero, semicolon, i less than len of str, semicolon, and I don't use any post statement here. I'll increment i by the size of rune in bytes. r comma size colon equals utf8 dot decode rune in string. And the argument is str of i colon. This is a slice operation. Here I am using the UTF-8 package and the decode rune in string function. This function returns the rune in string 
which is variable r, and its size in bytes, which is variable size. And we print out the rune or the Unicode character, fmt.printf, person c for rune, comma r, and i plus equals size. We increment i by the size of the rune in bytes. In the next iteration, we'll decode the next rune. I am saving the file and running the program. And it printed out XAR. Just for readability, I'll print out 20 hash signs. fmt.println backslash n plus strings, the strings package, dot repeat, what I repeat, the hash sign, and how many times? 20 times. This is just for readability. So this is how we decode a string rune by rune manually. To decode the runes in a string automatically, we use a for and a range loop. For the blank identifier, comma r, colon equals range, str fmt.printf, person c, and r, the second argument. Okay, here is a misspelled word, so strings. And I've decoded a string rune by rune automatically. 